getting a premiership contract in the UK. The search for Tanzania's first global soccer star will mean scouring the areas around Arusha, Mwanza, Mbeya, Zanzibar and of course Dar es Salaam. And finding that talent will mainly be the responsibility of Johnny Brooks and David Byrne, both of whom have played and coached professional soccer throughout the world and who have just the experience to be able to spot Tanzania's next global soccer star. The concept of working with all these players is, is, new, is new to me. It's, it's, it's the best I've ever seen dealing with hundreds of players. Um, and there is quite a lot of talent here. There's no doubt about it. Plus it's a change for uh, a country like Tanzania to be highlighted uh, by doing some kind of uh, football report on players and, and looking for talent. I think this place is untapped as far as I'm concerned. And there is, there is genuine talent because most of these guys are probably, would have probably made good athletes anyway. But there's nothing to stop an athlete from beginning, becoming a very good soccer player. Quite impressed. We're looking for the next Mike, Michael Essien or Drogba, and uh, we feel in Tanzania there's untapped market here. Right after the break, Tanzania's search for its first global soccer star starts in the lovely city of Arusha, the first of the three cities of the inland zone. Kwa mara ya kwanza nchini, Vodacom kwa kushirikiana na Motorola wanakuleta kitim tim cha kumtafuta mwana soka nyota. Mwana soka nyota huyu atapata udhamini wa kulisakata kandanda katika moja ya klabu katika ligi za Ulaya. Vituo vya usaili ni Arusha, ndani ya uwanja wa Sheikh Amri Abed, Mwanza, ndani ya uwanja wa CCM Kirumba, Mbeya ni katika uwanja wa Sokoine, Zanzibar ni kwenye uwanja wa Amani na Dar es Salaam ni katika uwanja wa taifa kwa maelezo zaidi tembelea Vodashop wakala wa Vodacom au soma magazeti na vipeperushi jioni tofauti na Vodacom mtandao unaongoza Tanzania first stop on the tour of the inland zone was the gateway city to many of northern Tanzania's most famous game parks Arusha scrolling casually at the foot of Mount Miro the city pulsated for a few days to the drumming of thousands of feet chasing soccer balls and the hope of future fame at the local stadium. From early morning the grounds vibrated with the quiet energy of hundreds of players anxious to sign up to compete in an event that could be their first step on the long road to fame and fortune in Europe. Ali G representing the Football Federation in Arusha had this to say. I work for the youth and I welcome a uh, 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 global, global star program now because this competition will allow the kids to participate and it has been very attractive to the kids They've been talking about it since it has been, I mean, uh, uh, broadcasted in the radios, in uh, the media. They started registering. I mean, they thought that it is the right way, it's the, the right time for them to excel. So, uh, to me, who has been working with the youth for almost the whole, the whole of my life, I believe this program is opening the doors to the kids. The Vodacom Global Soccer Star seems to be a better program for them because they take a long stride after having. I mean, drilling in their academies, and now they have a chance, I mean, to show what they have, what they have acquired, especially as long as fundamental techniques are concerned. So these guys, they're going to show them here, show it to you, and uh, hoping that one of them will become a star, and that he's going to get somewhere, and there will be an inspiration, I mean, to the rest of the kids in our country. Everyone had a reason for being there, and dreams of what winning could mean for them and others. Nikutaka na mimi kama nitachaguliwa labda kwenye mashindano haya ndio maana nimevutiwa na mimi nje kuingia katika haya mashindano. Tabani unaonaje mashindano? Mashindano ni mazuri. Ndio. Na mimi napendelea kushiriki kwenye mashindano haya. Endapo nitashiriki nitachaguliwa. Ndio. Nitashukuru pia. Una unachukuliaje labda unajifunza nini kutoka kwenye mashindano? Najifunza mpira kama wenzangu wanapocheza hapo. Na mimi naangalia jinsi gani nikiingia nitafanyaje. Unafurahia? Ndio. Nafurahia kabisa. Kwa kwenye mashindano? Ndio. Na kama ukiwa mmoja wapo wa wachagu chaguliwa utafanya nini kwenye maisha yako maisha yangu naahidi kwamba nikichaguliwa nitacheza mm. mpira mzuri na nje saidia wazazi wangu nje kuvutia kikubwa unajua mimi napenda mpira sana napenda mpira yes, that is my talent nitafurahi sana kwa sababu unafikiri ndoto ambayo nilikuwa na naiwaza muda mrefu au nafikiri yani nahisi muda mrefu itakuwa imetimia ndoto gani labda ndoto ya kuwa mmoja kati ya watu ambao ni maspasta in Afrika kwa sababu Afrika ni 
wasi wasitani ya wachache sana hasa kwenye mpira yani mpira ula kulipo mzuri ambao unaweza kucheza kwa muda mrefu na mimi nahitaji mcheze muda mrefu sana mpira ambaye naweza nkaisaidia nchi yangu kwa World Cup kwa sana sana World Cup sana na sana sana eh Players were divided into four groups green yellow blue and red From these teams of 8 were chosen to compete for the right to play in the next round of eliminations for Super Assessment Day. Pent up tension and energy was waiting to be unleashed on the playing fields as the first games drew near. Only a limited few would make it to the next round, so the pressure was on to produce one's best from the very start. The players were clearly informed of the rules of play on the quarter sized fields and that the game would be played in one direction only for 15 minutes. With over a thousand players to view, everything had to run like clockwork. The waiting was over and the search for Tanzania's first global soccer star was underway. The end of the first round of games meant that some would be potentially taking their first steps to stardom. Right after the break, the first player gets the chance to progress to the super assessment. Kwa mara ya kwanza nchini